Let's also hear from fellow Cabela's Pro staffer, Clark Wendland, on his thoughts with dealing with these conditions. You know, there's probably no time of year that bass are moodier than winter leading into spring, kind of that pre-spawn time when they're thinking about spawning. They love to feed that time of year, and when they're feeding, it's real easy to catch them. They're real, real aggressive but man, it can just change on a dime. And so what you're looking for that time of year is those small windows of time when they're biting. And if you ever start getting bites, go gangbusters at that point because you wanna absolutely tap all you can. They're biting, catch them. Fish. Oh, that's a nice little two-pounder. You know, that time of year when a cold front comes in, what typically will happen is, is bass just want to be tighter to cover. They want to be, you know, almost in something. If there's grass there, they want to be in the middle of it. Uh, if there's a dock, they're going to be snugged right up against the post. If there's a lay down, they're going to be as thick in that lay down as they can get. Kind of hopping it through the grass. Not really hopping it, just kind of, you know, trying to keep it as close to that grass as I could. And, I mean, the bites aren't very hard, the water's cold. It's wintertime bass right there. They just, I mean, that cold front just does something to them that just says that they're not real active and aggressive. They're not moving around a lot. And so you have to change your presentations based on that. You have to get your baits in tighter to cover. Maybe you have to slow down your presentations because they're just not going to be moving as fast during a cold front.